On the very first muckrakers on the 20th of May, we looked at uh, the appeal that it was going through to avoid extradition. Uh, and I predicted before the courts come out that basically they're going to look at these weasel words. You might remember that they were before extradition, they were looking at, at assurances that he could rely on the First Amendment, which is fundamental to journalism, even though he was a foreigner, and also about reassurances that he wouldn't suffer the death penalty and uh, to have that taken off the table. And the weasel words that were coming out were basically he could seek to rely seek to rely which obviously mm -hmm. sort of gives a, a a bit of an out uh, and so I, I said, look, the courts, very wise courts, and I often predict these things, uh, would obviously turn around and say, well, seek to rely is not good enough. Anybody can seek to rely. Uh, we need an assurance. And so what happened is they denied uh, uh, that basically he'd be extradited straight away. They said he's got a, a right to appeal, which that's where it was before we heard uh, the news today. Um, but I want to look a bit deeper into the plea deal, because I always say that if somebody's not guilty, they should never, never, ever accept a plea deal. And I understand that Julian was going to rely on freedom of speech and various other things. Critically analyzing global affairs, the muckrakers on today's news talk, TNT.